we're now looking at Dext, and Dext is a pretty faithful emulation and editor for the DX7, which means you could actually take a program from the DX7, load it into Dext, edit it, and then export it back into the DX7 to work with. So while this is actually very difficult to kind of use, especially if you're trying to go from scratch, Imagine how difficult it is to work straight on the DX7 on just one little LCD screen. So thank goodness for the modern FM instruments so that I could actually teach you what's going on as compared to trying to use an instrument like this. But fundamentally, uh, things are the same. At the top, we have our tuning options, either in a ratio mode or a fixed mode. And then we have our envelope generator. And then we have the controls that, of course, you know, go further. How much is it going to be influenced by the envelope? Are we going to have some kind of curve happening on the envelope, et cetera, et cetera etc and then what's really important with this instrument is what you find down here at the bottom okay this is where we have our algorithms this is determining what is a modulator and what's a carrier so if we look at this instrument we see we have two carriers those would be oscillators or operators one and four and in this case what's happening is two is frequency modulating one three is frequency modulating two all right, so three is not influencing one, but it is influencing two, which is influencing one. I should say it influences one indirectly. Same thing here over on four. Five is frequency modulating four. Six is frequency modulating five, but six is also being modulated by itself. All right, so when we listen here to this patch, you can see going through the envelope and how deep these things are going in. And if we go in and we change the algorithm, it could completely alter the sound, right? Like this. And that's why on the DX7, the most important control is actually the algorithm selection. And so what we will do in the next video is go into FM8 and show you how you can actually mimic the exact algorithms that were available on the um, DX7. Now, I would still recommend that you pick up this instrument, number one, because it's free. Number two, because it can be fun to kind of try to learn exactly how all this is working. But number three is that you get a ton of fantastic presets built in. So when we go here into the cart section, we can go through all the different banks. And these banks right here are actually DX7 banks, DX7 presets that you can load up. And it sounds almost identical right? Because again, this is just a digital technology. It should sound very similar and it does. So um, this is the uh, first one we have up is just the Dext presets. And then from there, we can load up the different banks. And uh, if we go into bank 20 here, we could load something up like pick guitar and see how it does. <laughs> We could probably run that into an arpeggiator and that would actually help us out quite a bit. Throw in some reverb or something like that. Let's pick something else that we see. Rock organ, let's try that out. That one's pretty cool. There's also some bells, and this is what FM is famous for. Instant 80s right there, bass one. So a lot of fun presets that you can check out and use. And these are straight from the DX7. So uh, if you want to get that instant 80s pop vibe, boom, you have it right here.